It's very easy to go over budget on new construction, especially with all those add-ons. If you want to save yourself from going over budget, stay tuned because I will be sharing with you six new construction upgrades to avoid. After touring the model home of a new construction home builder, you have a pretty good idea of what you want in your dream home. After going under contract with a purchase agreement, your next appointment with the builder is to schedule an appointment at the design center, where you will then meet the design consultant to go over all of your upgrades and add-ons. The design center, you guys, is like a candy shop. <laughs> There's so many options to choose from. Different colors, different textures, different feel, touch, material. It's very overwhelming, but as you could only imagine, you keep adding everything that you like in your shopping cart. That list keeps going on and on, and by the time you know it, you're definitely over budget for your brand new home. Remember, when you're purchasing a brand new home, you purchase not only the base price of the home, but also the lot premium and the structural upgrades. Those three things are already covered in your purchase agreement. What's additional are all the additional upgrades that you'll be deciding at the design center that would include all the cosmetic upgrades such as flooring, tile, even appliances, and so forth. All the design upgrades that you'll be selecting at the design center are all additional. So definitely keep that in mind before you go into the design center because if you're like me and my buyers, most of us would be taking actually half a day at the design center, selecting everything that you like, and at the end of it, you'll be very surprised to see how much additional all these design upgrades cost. My recommendation for you before you go to the design center is to talk to your family members and have a budget already in mind that you want to keep under. So already before going to the design center, you have a budget in mind and you don't want to obviously go and surpass that number. Here are six upgrades you should avoid. Number one, flooring. If you were to upgrade the flooring of your brand new home with the builder, I would say you would need to budget from anywhere from $10,000 to $30,000 depending on the size of the home and the materials you choose. Many of my buyers and investors would definitely be interested in ripping out the whole carpet downstairs and adding whether it's hardwood or luxury vinyl or tile. If you have the flexibility to do it yourself after closing, I had a buyer that ripped out all of the carpet in the downstairs area and upgraded to porcelain tile himself. And when he compared the price that it would have costed him to do that through a builder, it was a huge discount. If you have the flexibility, I would highly recommend doing it after closing. But again, a lot of my clients who are relocating from another state, they might have a specific timeline that they need to meet and maybe they don't have the luxury to do that or have the time in advance to do all those renovations before they move in. So it's a case by case situation, but if you do have the flexibility to do it yourself after closing, you will definitely be saving a lot for your flooring. Number two, tile work. Whether you're looking at replacing or adding backsplash in your kitchen or upgrading your kitchen island, or maybe it's a featured wall or a featured fireplace that you want tiled. Everything that you do after closing is gonna be significantly less than if you were to do do it through the builder. Let me give you an example. I had a buyer that was very interested in basically copying what the model home had as a feature fireplace where they had a ceiling height of about 20 foot and their fireplace basically went all the way up from the first level to the second level. The model home had the exact look and the builder was going to charge for that upgrade close to $15,000. Now, my buyer had the flexibility and she said, you know, I'm just going to do it myself after closing. Yes, it's going to take a few days and people coming in through the house, but that's okay. I want to do it myself. Long story short, the cost that she had saved was over 50% by doing it herself. Number three, Appliances. It's often the case that these new builders, when they purchase appliances, are in bulk to save costs. So when they are buying in bulk at a discount, you may not be able to get that quality fridge that you have and that's perfect for your lifestyle and your family. Just to give you an example, one builder only offered one specific brand of appliances where my buyer was very specific and loyal to a different brand. So they ended up doing the appliances themselves and not purchasing the 
the appliance package that the builder had offered them at a discount. On the flip side, when you purchase appliances from the builder, do your due diligence. And thanks to Google, you could Google the prices of the same appliances and find out if the builder is in fact offering a discount because they're buying it in a bulk or not. In one scenario, it was actually a monogram brand by GE. My buyer was going to actually pay a premium if they went through the builder. Now, yes, it's a less hassle to have someone deliver the fridge and install it for you, and you have your fridge already moving ready when you move into the house. But again, when you compare the pricing, you just need to make sure you do your due diligence and your homework and make sure it works for you and your timeline and your lifestyle, depending on the kind of fridge that you want for your family. By the way, if we haven't met yet, konnichiwa, my name is Kaori Nagao, your Las Vegas lifestyle specialist, helping you find your dream home. Whether it's new construction or resale home, or whether it's in Las Vegas or Henderson or worldwide, I'm here for you as your global real estate advisor. Thank you so much for watching and I really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel. Let's keep going. Number four, cabinet hardware. You know what's trending lately in all the model homes? Have you guys seen those black hardware finishes? It's like a matte finish, but they're very cool looking, right? Now, if you were to purchase it through the builder, the builder will charge you a premium for it. And cabinet hardware might be the easiest thing that you could DIY and or hire a handyman to install after closing at a much cheaper rate. Number five, custom closets. There are so many vendors, especially here in Las Vegas and Henderson to choose from when it comes to custom closets. Instead of purchasing custom closets through the builder, why not take your time after closing, interview several closet companies in town, and then decide who would be able to help you design your dream closet. I had a buyer who decided to do it after closing and she has saved nearly 30% off what the builder was offering for her dream custom closet and if you're looking for that perfect custom closet contact here in Las Vegas make sure you comment below or contact me because I have a really really good one that I use even for my personal home for custom closet what questions do you have regarding new construction upgrades comment below let me know what your questions are and I will make sure I reply with a video message now let's keep going a lot of times people order their window coverings and blinds or shutters directly from the builder because they want window coverings right away as they move into their new home. But let me just say that if you plan your closing accordingly and have everything measured in advance before closing, you may be able to get that window covering installed the day of your closing or shortly after at a much lower rate. Just to give you an example, there's different options for window coverings as you know. It may just be the you know drapery, it could be the blinds, it could be just the shades or the shutters. Shutters obviously being the premium option. I had a buyer that decided to do it after closing and they already had everything pre-planned so that they had the measurements and the quotes from a third party ready to go after closing. They were able to install it right away. My advice is let the pricing and your style dictate your window coverings and not the timing. What did you guys think about my list of six upgrades to avoid when purchasing a new construction? I have had a buyer who is a contractor himself that purchased a brand new home all standard so that he could do all his upgrades himself. So that's obviously an option and especially if you have the time and flexibility, you're able to do it yourself and make it into your dream home. Make sure you check out my next video on seven things you need to know about new construction that will help you be better prepared when you're ready to purchase a new build. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I can't wait to see you on the next one.